So I didn't really do the garden huge this year like we have in years past. Uh, we just kind of had a different kind of summer. But one thing I really liked about having this greenhouse is I got to do a lot of stuff in a small space. And one thing that's worked awesome in here is our peppers. So it's a sad day, but I've got to finish picking them and take them down because we're taking down the entire greenhouse. So before I tear everything down, um, for the end of the year, I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick my good peppers that I still have in here that survived the first frost we kind of got. And there was quite a bit, actually. So it was a good year for peppers, actually. Very minimal work. I really didn't weed or anything in here, and they grew really well. It was nonstop until it got cold here a week ago and then warmed back right, look up. Look at this. They did really good in the greenhouse this year. Um, I got a dozen or more from each plant several times actually, which is phenomenal for green peppers. They did great in here because it traps in the heat. We still haven't finished building it. We'll get around to that at some point, but every year we're getting a little more done each time. And these ones always turn out great. So this is something I think we'll always do in here is the peppers. Cause like I said, it's like no weeding, it's perfect height. I made a really good yield. I mean, look at these, and this is the middle of October still. When I get done pulling all these, I'm just going to uproot everything and throw it in the compost. Nothing needs to go to waste. So that's the joy of today, the teardown. So look, we got a ton of really great peppers out of there. And as you can tell, after I got it all tore down, um, no weeds and it's just dirt. That's why I love working in the greenhouse. It is hardly any work at all. No weeding, nothing, and it turns out great. Over here, I did a uh, winter squash and I just kind of thought, why not? We'd never done squash in here. And it went a little bit crazy, if I'm gonna be honest. It probably won't do it again. It, kind of just overtook the entire greenhouse. It looked like a scene from, I don't know, Jumanji or something, but there was vines everywhere. But we did get a really good yield. I got squash over here. I even got some that kind of are hanging outside because it got so big, it took over the entire panel and I have some hanging on the outside that I need to get cut down to. I am just cutting out all these winter squash here. Squash. We got a ton of them. Like I said, they just went kind of wild. So I have a ton to cut. I think I'm gonna switch because these ones got rusty. Quite a few from just one plant though. It is amazing to me how many you can get out of these. And they make good soups and things too. Now I gotta go get the one that's hanging. Got it, and it's a good one too. Look how big this thing is. <laughs> hey Tula. Tula's always around me. She's pretty much always by my side. If you ever need to find me, you can just look for her and I'm always right next to her. She's a pretty decent helper. All right, 
right, got most of it cleaned out, ready to go for next year. But now the fun part, onto the planner boxes. Let's see how much fun stuff we can pull out of there today. The beets did really good this year. Um, we did probably three harvests, maybe even four, and this will be the final one. They're a good crop to grow throughout the year because we can just keep replanting them because they grow fast. And I like mine about this size. They taste sweeter and a little bit better, I think. So we're going to pull them all, though. Our family really loves beets, like, a lot. So we did four separate planter boxes, like I said, three or four times. And we still have some coming, but we ate a ton. So we had really good carrots this year. As you can see, they're giant. Um, the only problem we ran into was bunnies. We had quite a few bunnies um, eating the tops or the crowns of them. That was a little bit of a bummer, but we planted so many, and they grew so well. It really wasn't a big deal to have a bunny eat a couple of them. I don't know what this is, but it must be in the carrot family. <laughs> it's pretty weird. The planter boxes are empty. My basket's full. And all in all, it was a great summer. We had a good gardening season. And the funnest thing I did was learn how to drive the tractor. Thanks again for watching all of my gardening videos and have a great day.